angular js so in this session we are going to see how the angular expression gets evaluated when we use the plus sign to a text input and a number input so in this session we are going to see um, how how an angular expression gets evaluated uh, when we use pl plus sign um, to a text input and uh, when we use plus sign to a number input all right so on the page you can see a uh, text input uh, label and the nearby text box so this uh, text box it's been created uh, uh, the type of the text box is text all right and uh, beneath you can see a uh, number input label and uh, next to that you can see the text box uh, that's uh, this text box uh, has been created uh, uh, using the type number all right so how uh, when i use the plus sign in both uh, uh, in an angular expression how how does uh, i mean uh, how it go uh, how it gets evaluated so that's what we are going to see so just uh, see i i just give uh, what happen actually uh, when i give uh, any any text any number in this uh, text box that's been created that's typed as text uh, obviously you can see the result here that uh, that i mean the strings are the operator what, what the operator does the operator simply uh, concatenate uh, concatenate the strings all right so similarly when i use in that uh, text box that's been uh, the that type is number all right um, i just give here thirteen all right so it it shows eighteen all right because uh, in the expression uh, angular expression uh, bound i have given uh, whatever the text box uh, input plus five so it shows number 18 okay so when i so th this how 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 i mean how it's been uh, done so that's what we're going to see in this uh, session right so let's get into the video so already i have created the application named ang type um, and then um, here what i have done in the web app i have created the lib folder and underneath this uh, this lib folder i have placed all the angular js files okay you can see all the files and i have created a html file index.html file all right uh, in this html file i have uh, uh, given input for the title element as input type so that would be the page name and uh, i have used the script element just to add the uh, angular uh, file angular uh, just to link the angular to this html i have used the script element uh, all right in the src attribute i have uh, assigned the angular.js file name all right and uh, i have created one more file named ang demo.js right so that's a uh, I have created a JS file named ang demo, and in this uh, ang demo.js file, I have created a module named ang demo, right? And I have created a controller. I have created a controller named ang ctrl, right? So just to add this uh, ang demo.js file in the index.html, I have included. I have used the script element src attribute to include the ang demo.js file, right? So this stuff we have seen in the previous session. So already I have done just to save the time. Right? So let's uh, uh, see how how to um, I mean uh, what happen when we use the plus sign uh, in an Angular expression to text input and uh, number input. Right? So here I use uh, you can see the controller is created and then the function uh, which takes an argument scope here what i do scope dot text input i just create the property right so i am going to assign the value within the basis i use uh, key 
value colon and uh, the since uh, it's a text input all right so i use the single quotes and i give the number six all right and uh, one more property i'm going to create scope dot number input so in this um, i assign the value value is the key and for this key value the value would be so since it's a number input right so uh, i just give simply the number six all right that's it all right let's move to index.html right just make a note of it we have created ang demo the uh, module name is ang demo and uh, the controller name is ang ctr all right so that's what we're going to make use make use of it in the index.html here i create the div element and in the within the div element i i use the attribute data hyphen ng hyphen app and uh, here i need to give the angular model name that is the app name ang demo and then i use one more data hyphen ng hyphen controller and this attribute for this attribute i use Um, I need to give, give the uh, controller name that is ang ctr right so that's what we have created go here there's a controller and name of the controller is ang ctr okay yeah. all right here what I do I just give a name uh, label named text input okay and uh, colon this is it's it is a this is a label right and then i use the input element so this in input element uh, uh the type attribute is assigned with so when i uh, key in the equal sign it displays a list of uh, um, values for this type attribute so i just select text all right and here what i do one more attribute that is data hyphen ng hyphen model this is to uh, this attribute it is used this attribute it is used to do the two-way binding all right so already i have explained this in the angular uh, in the previous session all right so here i give the model name should be given so go to ng demo dot js file you can see there are two properties in the scope object one is text input and the number input and copy the text input okay and assign it here the text input name the property name dot value okay all right okay and uh, i use the br element just to uh, bring the cursor to the next line right and again i just copy and i'm going to change the text input so let me change it to number input all right and in this in uh, again i use the input element here the type equals i just give uh, the key in the type uh, and then i key in equal so that it displays a list of values for the type attribute i am going to select number so you can see number right so this number i select right so now here you can see the difference type attribute is assigned with the number value all right here type attribute is assigned with the text value right so that's the difference so and then uh, again uh, this uh, data hyphen ng hyphen model equal to 
go to ang demo here you can see one more property name number input copy and assign it to the ng iphone model attribute dot value okay here uh, okay so just uh, underneath the text input um, we can use the angular expression all right um, and here is the br and again underneath this uh, okay so here uh, underneath the text element text input label uh, a nearby a text box should be created with the type text all right and uh, that's been uh, uh, that text box has been uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, two way binding it's been implemented in this text box all right so that is text input dot value ng iphone model attribute is used right underneath you can see that uh, this uh, i use the angular expression right within this angular expression i'm going to use this uh, text input dot value okay and plus i use Um, twelve. All right. What I use uh, four here. Again, one more uh, Angular expression is here underneath the number input label and uh, input text box. Here, uh, what I give go to ANG demo and uh, copy the number input. So, copy the number input property and uh, paste it here dot value. Okay, and here I use the plus sign and I give the number four. Okay, so that's it. So, now um what i'm trying to say is when i use the um the i use the plus sign in both the i use the plus sign in both the angular expression this is one angular expression and this is one angular expression i use the plus sign here and as well as here all right and i just add the number four all right in both the text box all right so whatever the value uh, is given uh, in the first text box uh, that value plus 4 would be uh, so i just add it and here uh, in the subsequent text box i uh, whatever the value is uh, given and then plus 4 would be added all right so uh, actually what happened um, the type is uh, the first input uh, the first text box is created uh, using the type uh, type attribute value text all right so obviously uh, this uh, the plus operator here the operator what it does when you use the plus sign the operator what it does uh, i mean when you use the plus sign uh, in an angular expression bound to text input uh, it simply the operator simply concatenates the strings all right so whatever you give it in the text input value plus four would be uh, it takes the text input value as a string and four as a string and uh, it's going to concatenate both the strings and you will find the uh, result on the page all right so here wherein the number input in the next uh, subsequent uh, text box that text box is created using the type 
value number so uh, in the text box you will find uh, the combo box all right so the up and down arrow would be displayed uh, with that you can uh, increase or decrease the number whatever the number you want to have you can uh, uh, just by clicking on that app arrow, you can increase the number or uh, if you want to decrease the number just by clicking on the down arrow you can do that so that text box would be created uh, here whatever the input value you give it within the text box that input value uh, plus this uh, the uh, four uh, the value four is given in the angular expression bound all right so uh, whatever the value uh, it's given in the input text box plus this uh, the value 4 would be uh, would be added that is a sum of both the uh, the sum of number input plus 4 would be dis uh, calculated and displayed on the web page all right so i believe you got it let me run this program i mean let me run this application you will you will get to know you will uh, we we'll get to know the clear picture, all right? So, uh, and the uh, application name is ang type, okay? And click on file. See, uh, here you can see then uh, uh, we got the output, the name of the pages, input type, because uh, go to the title, you can have given input type all right that's the reason you can find and then you can see text input all right uh, this uh, text input colon and then you can see the text box uh, that, uh, that, uh, that that has a value 6 all right so go here you can see the label I have given and then colon that's the reason you can find there and the input uh, text box uh, input input I mean the text box is created using the type value text all right and that uh, that value uh, here i have used the ngfn model attribute text input so this text input uh, already go to ng demo text input property is assigned with the value 6 all right so that's the reason that's the reason you can see here default value is 6 all right and uh, next to that you can see 64 all right let me ex explain this uh, uh, let me complete this uh, one more uh, label so go to index dot num uh, all right uh, let me go in uh, sequence so here you can find uh, the 64 how come go here and uh, you can see the angular expression text input dot value plus four so go text input dot value where does it exist go to ang demo uh, a controller ang controller ang ctr controller in this text input property is here right so text input dot value that value is six right so so here uh, the, the this text input dot value is uh, uh, replaced with the value 6 right 6 and plus 4 so since it is a text box created using the type text obviously uh, the operator will the plus operator the operator will simply concatenate the strings so 6 would be taken as a string and 4 would be taken as a string both are concatenated so uh, the result would be 6 4 64 all right so that's the reason you can see here 64 okay and then you can see the number input label and then the input box that's been created using the type number okay um, so that's the reason you can see number input label and then a text box and it is assigned with the six value right so this is how come it got displayed number input value go to ang demo.js here you can see the number input property that's been assigned with the values six okay fine um so default value is six and uh, since this text box is created using the type number see input uh, it is used to create the text box this input element it is used to create the text box and that uh, here i have used the type is number all right wherein the previous text box i have used a type in as text here i have used the type as numbers that's the reason you can see 
two uh, up and down arrow marks so that I can increase the numbers with this. When I click on this num up arrow, it will be inc the numbers would be incre increased, and when I click on down arrow, that will be decreased. All right. Okay, and then uh, here you can see. Um, Underneath, you can see the number input. Uh, you can see the angular expression again. Okay, so go here. You can see this 10, right? This 10. How come uh, the 10 value comes? The 10 value uh, here, you can see the angular expression, and this angular expression contains number input dot value. So go to ang demo.js files. Here, you can see the number input property that. Uh, its value is 6 all right so so in the so this 6 is replaced in this uh, that value is accessed in this angular expression when it gets evaluated all right so 6 plus so 6 here all right the and then here you can see the plus sign plus four all right so this uh, text box it's been created using the type number obviously the plus uh, the operator it what it will do it will uh, it will return the sum of the uh, input value number input sum of the number in uh, sum of the in number input plus the value four all right so here number input is uh, replaced with six and then the plus six plus four six plus four ten all right so that's the reason you can see ten okay so just remember that i have added four in both the angular expression all right so in the number second uh, text box is uh, created using the number and the first text box is created with the uh, type text and i have added uh, four as a value for the number numerical number four uh, i have added the numerical number four all right in both the angular expression so so just see let me show you here it is 10 right so here uh, it is 6 so first let me change this 6 whatever the number so whatever the number i give it here that number that whatever the value i give it here that value uh, in the first text box whatever the value i give it here that value would be taken as a string and uh, plus the f uh, the one more string uh, value 4 would be uh, concatenated and displayed as the output so here it is 6 and uh, one more uh, string value is 4 that that that's been concatenated and displayed as 64 when i change it to um, just i change it to 74 all right so when i give it 7 then obviously you can see it's been changed to 74 okay okay so when i give 9 you can see it is 94 okay so that's that's what it works right In the second text box it is a text box created using the number uh, type so uh, i'm going to increase the value or i just give it here or all right let me increase here you see uh, whatever the number uh, i give it here that number plus uh, the f value 4 would be added would be uh, added and uh, that uh, that number will be displayed here all right so i'm going to so i'm going to increase the number 7 so 7 plus 4 you can see 11 all right okay and now i just increase to 8 9 10 11 12 13 see you can see um, when i use 14 it shows 18 because 14 plus 4 is added so so 
so this value input number input is 14 plus this 4 all right so 14 plus 4 18 all right so that's the reason you can see 18 so that's it so in this session i have you uh, we got to know uh, in an angular uh, in an angular expression bound uh, when we use plus sign in an angular expression bound uh, to a text input and a number input how how the uh, angular expression gets evaluated and how we get the result all right so that's for the session thanks for watching bye